Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with error user profile service fail the sign in user profile cannot be loaded whenever you try to log in into a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. So without wasting time let's go ahead and proceed. Here I'll come up with two different ways so make sure to watch the complete tutorial to fix out the issue with user profile service fail the sign in. So at this point of time what you need to do is to press the shift key and hold it. After that, click on this turn off icon, power icon and choose the option restart. Make sure you press and hold shift key and then click the restart option and this will restart your PC into the advanced boot options. Now from here, you need to choose the option troubleshoot. Now click on advanced options and you will find the option of startup settings. Click on it. Now here again click on the option restart to restart your system again. From here you need to enter into the safe mode by pressing the functions key which is F1 to F10 and fourth option is enable safe mode. So I have to press the F4 key to enable and enter into the safe mode. So make sure you press the relevant key to enter into the safe mode. I'll go ahead and proceed entering into the safe mode by pressing the F4 key. Now in safe mode, head over to this PC, C drive, click on the option view and check mark the option hidden items. Now open user folder and open default folder over here. Now here you will find a file with the name anti user. Go ahead and rename it by right clicking and choose option rename. Give it a name anti user dot old. Once you have renamed this file, Again, click on the users folder and open up the folder with your user account. My user account is Lotus Geek, so I'll go ahead and open it. From here, you will find another file with the name NT user. Now copy this file and paste right in the default folder again. If it is pasted properly, it's well and good. Go ahead and restart your system. Else if it is giving you the error like it is showing right over here, we are going to the second step to fix out the issue. Close it. In second step, click on the start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Here you need to type a command which I will provide you in the description of this video. Copy the command and paste over here by pressing the control V button. Once pasted, hit the enter key. Now here all the user's account will be shown right in front of you. You need to note down the user account with your username. My username is again Lotus Geek. So you need to copy or note down this SID number. This SID you need to find in the registry editor. Once you note down this SID, right click on start menu and choose option run. Type here regedit and hit the enter key. Over here, in this address bar, I'll share you again a path that you need to copy and paste right over here and then hit the enter key. Now here, you will find profile list over here. Now go ahead and find your SID right over here in this history editor. Now in this profile list, my SID is ending with 1001 which is this one. Here is my SID that's ending with 1001. So once you have matched the SID, expand your registry editor. Now at this point of time, you may welcome with one of the steps which I will show you right over here out of the three steps available. First one is like it is shown over here. My SID is as it is, as it is shown right in this command prompt. Else, you will find a second SID with the extension .bak. SID is same, but it has an extension of .bak. And third case is, you will find both the folders of SID. First one is this, which is without .bak extension. And second one is this profile list with .bak extension. So let's proceed with each case. 
if you have a SID as it is shown over here, head over to this PC, choose C drive, users folder, open your Lotus Geek or your username folder. From here, click on this address bar and copy the path as it is by right click and choose the option copy. Now in this right pane, open up the file with the name profile image path by double clicking on it. You need to paste the path that we just copied by pressing the control V button. Once pasted, hit the OK button. Now here you need to file another file with the name ref count. If it is not available, choose right click new, divert 32 bit value and give it a name ref count. Double click to open it and in value data, make sure you provide the value as 0. Now hit the OK button. This one is the case one. Now let's proceed to the second case. In second case, you have an SID with extension .bak as it is shown right over here. Now at this point of time, you need to right click on this folder and choose the option rename. And from here, just delete .bak extension and hit the OK button. Do the same. In this right pane, open profile image path and paste the path right as it is over here that we have copied just from this users folder. And secondly is ref count. Give it a value 0 over here. Now let's proceed with the third case. Now in third case, if you have a SID with both .bak extension and with without .bak extension, at this point of time, what you need to do is to delete the folder without the extension .bak. Right click on it and choose the option delete. Hit the OK button. Now you are left with .bak extension. Rename it and remove the .bak extension and hit the enter key. Now again in this right pane, open profile image path and paste the path of your user ID address right over here. Right from here. And secondly again, ref count and give it a value as 0. Now close it. Now just go ahead and restart your PC and your issue regarding the user profile service fail the sign in, user profile cannot be loaded, will be simply fixed out using these two methods. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.